Yo people! Hey, what's up? Hey guys! We are starting a brand new series today called Breaking News! We're gonna talk about these guys called prophets. And what they would do is they would take news from God and bring it to the people. And sometimes it was good news, like, hey, great job guys. Sometimes it was about like the future and saying like, hey guys, someday this is gonna happen. But most of the time it was like, hey, um, you guys are being idiots and God's not happy, so knock it off. Yeah, today we are learning about the prophet Micah. And one of the good things that Micah got to prophesy about was where the future Messiah, or Jesus, would someday be born. He was the one to tell us that Jesus was going to be born in the town of Bethlehem. And then Jesus was born in Bethlehem because God's always right. Before we talk about Micah, I have a couple questions for you guys. Just think about them in your head. Don't say anything out loud. These are those what are rhetorical. Sure. They're the questions you're supposed to think about in your head, okay? Here we go. How would you react if you saw someone doing something that might be harmful to them? Or if it was a friend? What if it was someone you don't even know, but they were doing something harmful? How would you react? How would you react if you saw a friend cheating on a test? How would you react if you saw a teacher helping a student cheat on a test? <gasps> How would you react if you saw a kid getting bullied? Which I'm sure probably happens to you guys like every day. How would you react if you learned that a kid in your class or a kid at your school wasn't gonna eat dinner tonight. See, those are all kind of examples of when things go wrong. Like that's not how the world is supposed to go, right? But, but all those things happen. My guess is that you guys can probably pinpoint most of those things all last week. Because life just goes wrong so often. And what I wanna talk about just for like another minute, what do we do when things go wrong? What do we do when those things go wrong in our own lives? What do we do when things go wrong in the lives of people that are close to us? What do we do? Well, when Micah, this prophet, when he lived, everything was going wrong. He was living in Israel, which is God's chosen people, right? And they had split off into two countries. There was Israel, there was Judah. And he was in Israel and everything was going wrong. The leaders were not following God. In fact, they were doing the opposite. Instead of teaching people about God like they were supposed to, they were just using God to make money. Like they wouldn't tell people unless they paid them. And the people that would pay them money, they would be very kind to. And the people that could not afford to pay them, they were very mean to. They were being really bad and they were being giant turd faces. That's right, turd faces. I said it, it's in the Bible. Okay, maybe not. But anyways, they were being bad and God did not like this. So God sends Micah, his prophet, he says, Micah, go tell these people they're being awful giant turd faces. It's in the Bible. Anyways. Tell them this and tell them that because of it, I am going to destroy them. Like, destroy. Like, Assyrian army come and boom, destroy, destroy. Yikes. So Mike asks, go deliver this message. Can you imagine, like, everything's going wrong. He is hurt because he is still choosing to do what is right. He is still following God, but everyone around him is choosing what's wrong. Now he has to go confront all of it. It's gonna be hard. Those leaders were not going to be happy. But when everything was going wrong around him, Micah chose to do what's right. I think that's what we can learn today from this story. When everything around you is going wrong, like Christmas time, when everyone is celebrating by spending, 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 gifts, 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 get, 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 and no one's thinking about Jesus, when everything is going wrong, we can still choose to do what's right. We can choose to help the kid that's getting bullied. We can choose to stand up for people. We can choose to give more this Christmas, those kids that aren't going to be getting presents, those kids that might not be eating on the weekend. We can choose to stand up and help them and do what is right. Our big idea today, when everything around me is going wrong, I can choose to do what's right. Okay, quick recap. Prophet, Micah, speaks for God. Everything around him going wrong. Israelites, giant turd faces. Micah says, hey, stop it. They don't stop it. Micah says, God's gonna smite you. Ah! When everything is going wrong, Micah chose to do what is right. When everything is going wrong, you can choose to do what is right. Now we have some questions. 